Hi guys. Hi. This is exciting. So, over the past weekend, I thought, you know, I watched one episode, two episodes. That turned into three, four, five, 18 episodes I binged watched in two days. And now you hate it. I know, I love and it. And now you hate But, us. as I've been telling my friends, you know, you have to see Lethal Weapon. I never know how to describe it because it's like Call of Duty, but with a lot of heartfelt as well. So how would you guys describe it? Call of Duty. Because you've got a lot of guns. Everything's a gunshot. So yes, you don't the, just go to- Grand Theft Auto. Meets Mario Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> love it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think it's. I think that's it, right? We're trying to get a balance of, uh, we're trying to cram it all into one hour, make you laugh, make you cry, hang onto the edge of your seat, you know, make something go boom. And you literally do make us cry, because especially your character, Martin, mm. has got that rawness, and you're taking yourself on that little journey, but then Roger kind of overtakes that, and then you get another car chase, and then something else blows up again. Yeah, we gotta get a little thing going. I like it, I like it. How would you describe your relationship together as your characters? Harold and Maud. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's you know brothers. He said it. Man, so, you know, we're step brothers, and we just we fight, and we, but we love each other, and we fight for each other. Yeah, I think that's it, right? This, that it'll get to a point where we may want to knock each other's teeth out, but if someone walks in the room with a problem, then it's like Voltron, right? We connect and dom yeah. So. And how do you find the stunts? When you read your scripts and it says, right, you're going to go and jump out another building, do you get excited? Do you like, oh God, how are we going to actually act that out? I would sigh. I cry, yeah, yeah. I want to read an episode where we just like, either I'm in a coma mm -mm. or I'm bedridden for a little while. And then I climb into bed and I just <laughs> snuggle. <laughs> yeah, the whole and then let Jordana and Keisha go fight crime. Yeah. Um, well, you know, when you start, when you see the action in a script, you just go, oh boy, this is going to be a long day. Because, you know, an eighth of a page is, you know, it's a lot of stop and go. And, you know, this guy's hanging upside down something and being dragged somewhere. And, <laughs> you know, I, you know, I, my character says he's too old for it. But the truth is, I'm kind of past the, uh, the, um, What's that called? The the joy of doing my own stunts. Yeah. What's been your favorite explosion to watch on TV? Because I think for my me, it was the when you shot the bomb in the middle of the sky and you fell into the swimming pool quite early on, maybe episode three or four. I don't. That wasn't three or four. That was like five. That was Antonio's episode. But that it, that was that was one of my favorite moments. The music, him grabbing the bag, running, and it actually it, it was just. I love the absurdity of it all, right? Because the bag would have blown up anyway. Mm -hmm. right? There's only like four seconds left. I don't know why I had to shoot it. Got, his face would have been singed. My, face would, I would, my mustache would have been tinier. <laughs> so I had to shoot it when it was further away from me. I love, in practicality, we shot, and this was the second, epi second episode, when I'm swinging from the rope and the motorcycle goes under the yeah. truck, and then it explodes. We actually blew that truck up in the yeah, middle of Hollywood. That was, cool. was it on Highland and Hollywood? Yeah. Like right in the middle of Hollywood. I think visually though, the coolest one was when you had the girl and you're walking behind, and that oh, and just blew up behind me. Yeah. yeah, and I'm trying so hard not to squint. Yeah. You know the big truck? Yeah. I've got yeah. the girl, and I'm trying to give the whole. And it's like it's hot. It's like I got it's on me. <laughs> Yeah. There's a dragon in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> and Damon, uh, your character in My Wife and Kids, Michael, you brought a lot of, I think, you brought a lot of his qualities to your role as Roger, especially when you're a household. Did you ever feel that at all? No, I think it's too complete. It's your humour. Characters. No, it, I mean, you know, it's it's the, almost, this, uh, maybe that's why they cast me, is because it's had to have somebody who, you know, was um, likeable as the father and, you know, um, and a husband. And so I had uh, a lot of training on wife and kids in terms of how to, you know, how to be a, 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 a father figure, but also be pushed around by my wife. <laughs> Not like you're like that now. <laughs> no. Um, let's talk about you, Clay, and series two, because you have now gone to Mexico to find out who actually killed your wife. So how does that develop? Do you still have that friendship together or is it two separate uh, entities now? I think it's going to be exciting to see how Roger approaches the situation. Um, uh, I, you know, is he going to come in as a friend and as a partner or is he going to come in as a disciplinarian who's trying to bring me back to the States? Um, I think most importantly what we're excited about is kind of 
pushing the Miranda storyline, kind of putting it to rest, and uh, maybe the cartel, and opening new chapters of uh, maybe some crime syndicates, and exploring other aspects of our lives. Uh, I think we're, and I think that's the beauty of this show, as opposed to the films, is we have the opportunity and the time to ex- explore these other avenues. And what would you like for the family sense? You know, Trish at the moment is unemployed. Would you like her to join the LAPD? Because I'm sure you've got a lot of insurance claims that need to be. You want to go to work with the wife every day? I want a divorce. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I want a divorce. Move into the trailer with yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> at the beach. Yeah. There's a lot of room in that trailer. Um, mm. and no, I, I just I told um, Matt Miller that I would like to get into real like arguments and 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 a little more. Um, messy in terms of what a, a relationship is like because it's so nice. We never argue. We never, you know, we disagree, and you know, it's just. Yeah, but that's not how us. it is in relationships, you know. So I'm I'm hoping that we explore that a little. But I understand season one we set it up as this wonderful family. Because Clay, you did have that heartfelt kind of rawness, and from the heart, is that something that you would like to do, Damon? Then is like actually explore your inner character, not just the outside and the running and the jumping and everything. No, I'm very shallow. <laughs> <laughs> Run and jump and tell jokes. That's all I want to do. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect yeah. formula. Yeah. And the DVD's coming out in October. If mm. you could sum mm. up in 10 seconds each, why should people buy your DVD? DVDs are going out of style. <laughs> if you have a collector's one, item. Yeah, it's a collector's <laughs> item. <laughs> I didn't even know they made DVDs. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah. I guess any way to generate revenue. But. Yeah. Uh, the DVDs are going to be action-packed. Uh, they're something you can share with your friends and family. Um, there's probably going to be an outtake reel. In there. there will be outtakes, yeah. and there's going to be a gag reel at the end gag of it. Gag reel. Very funny stuff. Will we see how the stunts are put together? Yes. Yes. There's a lot of behind the scenes. Yeah, that's why you buy the DVDs. What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah, you buy the so DVDs much... so that you can see how we do what we do every day. And most importantly, the look, we get a lot of credit. There are some there are stunt guys and the camera crew, and I feel in my 20 years of working in this business, this is one of the best crews I've ever worked with. <laughs> it, <laughs> like, <it's, laughs> no, they're great. Nah. <laughs> it, it, you know what it reminds me of? It's like an indie film where everyone's there for the work, you know, not there to make a paycheck. And um, I know they are there to make a paycheck, but uh, they put their heart and soul into it every day, and we would not be able to do the jobs we do without them. Yes. And I think it'd be really interesting to kind of watch that side of it. Brilliant. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Very yeah, much. man. Thank you.